In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get record count on pivot table here in Google Sheets. So let's say you want to count the number of rows on your data set. You can do that with the use of a pivot table. Now, as you see in our data set right here, there are some blanks on our columns. Now I'll show you how to get around that later on. First, let's go to insert and select pivot table. We have our data range selected already, and we're going to insert this in a new sheet right here. So let's click on create. Let's add our values right here. We're going to add our total purchase and our rows would be the customer ID. Now to get the record count or the total number of rows for your total purchase, what you can do is to change the sum to counter. Now, right now it's giving you a grand total of 15 rows or 15 total purchases. But if you go back to your data set, you will see here that there are 18 rows right here, not including our header, but our pivot table is only counting 15 because count function doesn't include empty cells. Now to get around that, what we can do is to delete this, add another value by calculated field. So let's edit our formula right here. Let's remove our zero and put in rows. Your parentheses, you can put in any of your columns. I'm just going to put in quantity. Then summarize by custom. And now we have the correct number of rows right here. And for the customer ID, there are two blank spaces according to this one. So if we go back and check, there are two blank spaces. And if you change that one more time, let's say we're looking for how many blank spaces in quantity we have four. And if we go and check one, two, three, and four. And there you have it. That's how to get record count on pivot table here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.